the 350 yards a bucket. Yeah, right. Like from the movie. Yeah. Just like in the movie. This this barrel is made by a guy out in Washington by the name of Ron Cinema. He makes benchmark barrels. And I started buying barrels from him when I built my Quigley gun. I actually shot the Quigley match. Really? In 2010. How was that for you? Oh, I enjoyed that immensely. I mean, that uh, we had 600 shooters. Wow. And it's on the guy's ranch out there in Forsyth, Montana. He shuts the ranch down and moves his cattle off, and then we shoot all week to get our sight settings because there's six different targets. And you shoot anywhere from 350 yards out to 800. Mm -hmm. And it's at steel targets. You have a buffalo at 800. The 350 yards a bucket. Yeah, right, like from the movie. Yeah. Just like in the movie, yeah. but the bucket is 18 inches across at the top, 16 at the bottom, 20 inches long, but at 350 yards, it looks like the right. bucket. Right, right. <laughs> but anyway, I, uh, I took 300 rounds of ammunition out there that I had loaded up for it, and uh, I wanted to make sure I had enough left over to shoot the match, because you got 48 shots for the score. Okay. I made some mistakes, and I uh, been my first time out there. But uh, you're at four thousand feet. The winds are all together different than they are around here. The air is thinner. You gotta have a spotter. Yeah. I took a guy with me that was a good friend of mine, and he was a retired teacher, uh, and he wanted to go. And I said, "Well, okay, you. If you want to go, you can spot for me." Well. Wasn't the best spotter in the world. I mean, I can't hold that against sure. him because he never did it before, you know. Just a better friend than a spotter is all. Yes, and uh, anyway, I I would shoot for getting my sight settings. And uh, I said, where'd I hit, Bob? And he said, well, he, he said, shoot again. He said, <laughs> I said, Bob, I said, you got to keep pay attention. Well, I said, uh, I don't have a whole lot of extra rounds here. I got to keep 48 for score. Because when you shoot for score, when you, when you go up there, there's 10 guys and they're all shooting at the same target. But it, it, they're not all at the same time. Sure. You have a scorekeeper that's behind you and she'll say, Ben, it's your shot. She gives you one minute take your shot. Then they go to the next guy, and then the next guy, and the next guy. And they got all 600 shooters, too, in one weekend. Wow. So they have it laid out really sure. well. have to be. I kind of got a kick out of the guy that runs the, uh, the branch. And I, his name is Mr. Lee, and he drives around an old red pickup truck. And I said, Mr. Lee, I said, how much ground do you own here? And he says, 25 square miles. Oh, my. It's been in his family for a couple hundred years, you know. Wow. But he says, as far as you can see that way, that way, that way, and that way, he says, it's all mine. He says, wow. But he shuts the ranch down for the one week. And like I said, we had 600 shoes. We had guys from the U.K., guys from Australia. It's a big, it's a big oh, deal. Oh, sure. And this was the 20th year. Uh, 2010 was the 20th year, and I went back the following year. I wanted to shoot it again, but we had rain, and the ground out there was so uh, it's like snot. Mm -hmm. It rains, you Real can't slippery. walk on it, mm -hmm. you can't drive on it. So right about the middle of the week, he came around and he said, we got three days of rain coming, and he said, if you want to get out of here, you got to go. So we never got to shoot. We just jumped in the car and drove back. But uh, it was a nice trip anyway. It's about 1,700 miles out there. If you can recall it, can you tell our viewers how much arc there is on a 45, 70, 800 yards? Because <laughs> if you don't realize this, it's actually coming down more like a drop of rain yeah. than it is a direct yeah. line shot. Well, at a thousand or at 800 yards, I was holding off 80 inches for the wind. There you go. 
That's a 500 grain bullet at mm. about 1,200 feet per second. And they have to be cast bullets, and they have to be plain base. Right. Now, you can use smokeless powder, or you can shoot black powder if you want to. But at the amount of drop at 800 yards, I'm thinking like a drop is like six feet. Yep. Mm -hmm. At Amazing. 800. Yeah. It's a crazy distance. So, uh, yeah, it was... And I built the, the gun myself. It was a Remington Rolling Block originally in three or seven millimeter Mauser. Um, it was a later one. It was a heat treated action. And I dismantled it and I put a new barrel. And the barrel came from Ron Cinema again. Uh, I called him up and I said, uh, you just got into the business. And I said, can you build me a 45 caliber barrel? He says, well, he says, I've never built one, but he says, I'll build you one. I said, okay. I said, I want it 34 inches long. I want a tapered brown barrel. Uh, and I gave him the dimensions for muzzle and ch chamber. Mm -hmm. And anyway, about three weeks later, I had it. Wow. And he did a beautiful job. It had a 16-inch uh, twist in it, and it stabilized the 500 grains perfect. But um, I'm going to brag a little bit. You can. Go right ahead. At uh, 350 yards offhand, the bucket, I had six hits out of eight. Offhand? Offhand. Fantastic. And I was 71 at the time. Wow. That's awesome. Good for you. Yeah, I was pretty proud of myself. I would be, too. I don't know. I could duplicate uh, that now. Guarantee not. I don't remember exactly how many rounds or how many shots I had. That were hits because there's 48 per score. I don't remember. Like I said, I made some mistakes, some windage adjustments, mm -hmm. and my fodder was a little bit iffy, you know. Right. But uh, but I had a good time. 